Hello my friends, we are back in Luminar Neo and today we are going to edit this photo I took last week in Akita National Park at Hunter's Beach. So let's see how we get about it. First I will start in the develop module and I will work with maybe take down the highlights a little bit, open the shadows a little bit so I can see some details over here in the trees. Um, maybe increase the whites just a little bit and take down the blacks to create a little bit more contrast. Next, I will close the develop and I will go into enhance. And I'm going to increase enhance just a little bit to give it that kind of, you know, magic. Next tool I am going to use, it is landscape. And I wanted to add a little bit of that golden like morning sun on the rocks. And uh, the way to do that is using the golden hour. That just adds warmth into the highlights. And there you go, that looks better to me. Foliage enhancer, that will just make the greens a little bit greener. I'm gonna add a little bit, but not too much. The trees did not have much color as it's just spring starting right now. So there's not a lot of green in the trees naturally. Let's see, what else do I wanna do? I want to maybe bring a little bit more detail into the sky and for that I will go to super contrast and just highlights contrast. I'm going to move that to the right. I do not like to use mid-tones or shadow contrast but the highlights one works really well and I love it. The next thing I want to do, I want to darken a little bit on the left side of these rocks over here. They're just a little bit too bright and they're kind of out of the frame and the same thing with the ones in the foreground. So I wanna take attention away from those areas. And the way to do that, I'll go to develop, I will go to my curve tool this time. And I will just bring down, let's see, I won't go too much. It's thinking about it. We have to wait for the program to do its work. Oh, that's too much. So we just wanna go a little bit, maybe like that. And then with the paint brush, I'll make my brush bigger, I will just paint where I wanted to show, which is kind of around here and a little bit in the foreground. That way the attention goes towards the middle of the image, not the edges. And I like the way that looks. Maybe I even want to darken the sky over a little bit in here. There you go. I think that works too. All right. And we'll close develop. What else? Is it anything else we want to do? Maybe we want to add a little bit of blue on the shadows. And for that, I will go to color harmony. I'll go to color balance, choose shadows, and maybe add a little bit of cyan and a little bit of blue. Not too much. I don't want to make the image too blue. And then maybe even less than that. Let's see. Maybe something like that. And then even in the highlights, I can add some yellow and red to make it more golden. And that maybe is too much red. I'm gonna take it down a little bit. And like that. Let's see where we started. So we started like this. And this is what we have right now. Again, this is the before. And this is the after. And I think that's pretty much, oh, maybe maybe the blue is a little bit too saturated in the sky. So I will go to color. Oh, not glow, sorry. Uh, color. And I'll go to the HSL, into the saturation panel. And I will take the blue down just a little bit. I don't like it when my sky becomes too blue. Ooh, and look what I find right here. Some dust spots. Let's zoom into those to 100%. And I usually don't get a lot of dust spots. You see them over here? Two, three of them. But I guess I was not very careful cleaning my sensor. So to erase those, we'll go to erase and remove dust spots. Click on it and Luminar Neo will do its magic and remove the dust spots automatically. And they are gone. Let's go back to fit to screen. 
and there you go this is our before and after before and after if you like this video please do subscribe my name is Skylar Ewing thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video